Hey guys, welcome to Logical Humor. Today we will be discussing about enumerations or enums in short. So for this we have created a console application uh, enums and we have created some enums. Uh, so what enums are exactly? So enumerations are they are just an efficient way to define a set of named integral constants that may be assigned to a variable. So guys, why? These, uh, that means these are integral constants. So they are integers they, and constant that their value does not change. That may be assigned to a variable. So this might be a bit confusing to you. But let's just see why do we use enums. So suppose that we have uh, variables like uh, day of the month. So you see that day of the month it can only have seven possible values. Sunday to Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And months. Months can also have only fixed uh, 12 values, January to December, like uh, gender. Gender can only be male, female. So instead of uh, using that uh, gender is equal to like uh, making gender uh, an integer or uh, string, we can use enum. So th that will act both as a string, uh, means that will basically act as a gender only, uh, means integer only, but we can have. Uh, string again means uh, that it will be properly visible because say if they suppose that we are taking as string uh, gender there is equal to say uh, male so this is very because there is no error checking here instead of male suppose that we right we, there may be spelling mistake so compile time it won't check and during runtime it will give exceptions so this is not feasible also if we are using the gender is equal to uh, one one means male and two means female that is also not the code is not readable so because of these shortcomings we use enums which are integer constant they have integer value as well as and we are properly describing in a word that will provide us intelligence also so we have created an enum of days and enum of months. So the advantages here that I have uh, discussed that they provide intelligence, compile time, error checking and easier to make changes. Suppose that we had used uh, male is equal to one, one means, I mean gender is equal to one, one is equal to male. And if we wanted to change it, then we couldn't uh, replace it, right? We couldn't because we, one could be used in other places. So we couldn't uh, do mass replacement. We had to check that gender at every position, go through the code and we had to do that. But in case of this, we could easily check uh, gender if we had created an enum uh, of gender like this. Uh, enum gender male and female this way we could easily search throughout and the thing that if suppose that we had uh, provided uh, we could just uh, means if we wanted to assign gender so we could just and like this will we would declare it and then using this gender enumerator we could easily assign this female or male see this is it provides intelligence error checking Compile time only it will check. If it is mail.1, it will throw an error. See, there is a red squiggly there. It throws an error inside. So there is no hope for error in that case. So let's get to examples. Also, here we have uh, seen that uh, these there is a slight change here that we are using a colon and we are using this byte type. That is because, uh, because by default the underlying type of each element in the enum is int. So basically these are underlined means these are all integers, integer constant, named integer constant, names because they have a proper name Sunday, Monday and they are integer constant. They have a integer value when we use a cast in the enum is and you can specify another integral numeric type except charge character uh, we can't use because character it has uh, got a different meaning but we can use short we can use byte we can use long right okay like instead of that we could have 
यूज द लॉन्ग ओके और शॉर्ट और एन अनसाइंड शॉर्ट एनी थिंग ओके there will just be uh, means uh, type casting will be required implicit that we'll see later as we progress and uh, yeah let's uh, move forward so here we have created a, a we had created a, a days enum here and here we are creating a list of days where we are using uh, we are uh, means uh, adding all these uh, seven days here and then we are looping through it for each loop every day in days and then we are uh, printing that integer value for the day for the day we, are, we will be printing the named um, in the string name of the days and then their by integer values by using an integer type cast okay and here we in comment we have uh, mentioned that by default the first enumerator has the value zero and the value of each uh, successive enumerator is in is increased by one okay so let's just see here we haven't done anything it is by default it is the basic you know let's just run it so guys here you can see here the integer value for the day sunday it is zero so by default the first uh, the first member of this uh, the first integer inside the uh, named integer constant inside the days will be uh, its value will be zero by default value and then they'll increase successive uh, members will have uh, means they'll increase by one so zero one two three four five six and we can change that that necessary has to be like uh, here Suppose that by default we want Sunday to be say 101, okay? And then if we run it, it will be 101, 102, and 103, 104. Like they'll increase by one. We can change that also. You suppose that Wednesday we want it to be 1201, uh, 301. That also we can do. Let's just see. So. It was 101 that we had assigned Sunday and then Monday we got 102, 103. But again, Wednesday we had uh, explicitly assigned 201 and then again the successive days will be 202, 202, they will be all be uh, increased by 1. So this is it. Let's just undo all these changes. Okay. We have seen this now now also one problem one slight problem is there it is possible to assign any arbitrary integer value to uh, to the day to the to the days uh, to any uh, uh, to any variable of type enum of this days enum this should not be done because here, as you can see, the days, there are only seven days and they're starting zero. So their value should be within the zero to six range. But here we are explicitly assigning a 49 integer. And we are typecasting also into days. Because without typecasting, it won't work. They are, C sharp is a strongly typed when there is no implicit. So we have to, we can typecast it into days. Okay. But now, if we print it, you see the invalid day it is 49 because there is no uh, means corresponding named integer constant for 49. There is only 0 to 6. If you want to check like in this case, Sunday is 0, Saturday is 6, all days are within it. 49 there is no corresponding it so it will be 49 only even if you are trying to print as uh, and uh, days enum we won't be able to get the name parameter uh, the name for it we'll just get 49 integer value so this should not be done okay okay this is how it is shown now we are yeah now we are creating an employee class here with the name with the birth month 
and the day uh, birth month is again uh, type enum uh, months and day one is type days enum and then we are these are constructor that does not take any argument then this constructor takes all these three properties that we have specified here it takes and then it assigns the properties all the properties of the object so here we are here where okay here then we have created uh, an object of employee type then the default value of an enum e is the value produced by the expression e zero okay so although we can change the default value of the first uh, element of the um, of, of the of an enum we can change it to anything one two three four hundred but it should be zero only because this expression this zero when it is evaluated it always show uh, the uh, yeah the default the corresponding default enum element so if you can see the default value of the birth of employee day one because you see we are we are using uh, we are not uh, a parameter less constructor so it takes this day one employee day one for property of this employee day one it will take a default value and that default value will be zero that is corresponding to zero so and zero has got there the name uh, the, yeah the default day of birth is sunday we could change it also you see if uh, it was not starting sunday for if it was starting monday okay and sunday was there then the default would be monday it should be corresponding zero and if we had written here one if we had started it with one or one zero another it wouldn't have yielded a default value it would have just shown zero because the default should be zero it is not necessary but it should be and now if you run it as you can see here the default day of the birth will be monday why because it is the first element and it's uh, it is by default zero and the zero the corresponding to zero will be the default enum okay so this is also done and then we are creating another employee object with this time the parameter constructor we are specifying all the values we are specifying the name and the month the the birth month as well as the days born so we are specifying this is about me this will be my english name if, for, if, if i was born in britain or america it would be my name victor and uh, my birth month is november and my birth day is friday i was born on a friday so my day of birth is total is 9 november 1990 here this november we are going to get from this enum birth month enum and if you are not using a typecast it would have shown uh, november but once you are converting it to int it will show 11 okay, or yes 11 because we are starting january with one here we need you know or we could have added a one here if it was starting zero if january was zero then we would have incremented it by one so if we remove this typecast and then run it my date of birth is 9 november 1990 but if we add the typecast here then my date of birth will be 9 11 1990 so there an explicit cast is required necessary to convert the enum type to an integer type and then there are uh, some properties like uh, get name that will get the name of this uh, integer constant that will get the corresponding enum name we just have to spend as you can see we'll have to specify the type and to get
get the type we use type of and then class name uh, enum name in this case type of enum and then the object value it was four of type object so yeah so as you can see ob uh, you already know that object is the base class of all corresponding classes and structs structure so yeah it will take easily without any error so it uh, gets the name in the in, as a string so the name of the day for four is equal to Friday and if we take one here no so, uh, if we pass one here it will be I think Tuesday yeah it is Tuesday because we have made one I uh, mean uh, Monday as the first if it was zero which is by default it will come out to be Monday yeah and this one get values get name got one name as a string and get values it will return an array of type it will uh, get an array of all the values of the constant so it will an integer array will be return so the type of days so days are from Monday to Friday and they're starting one uh, zero they're starting zero to six so we need we'll get zero to six so let's just see if you are getting yeah zero to six we are getting the value of the days in our and six and then again we have this get name so get name uh, written just a string corresponding and get names will get all the names that were used in the you know the days you know if you see if I run it uh, Monday to Sunday if you wanted to return all the names used in the month months enum, we could pass that as type type of type enum name type of operator will return a type of the it can be used on a class or enum or interface etc let's just see month months are from January to December if we use it on gender gender will be only male and female and again if this was used on gender gender would be only 0 and 1 because there are only 2 and on this if we were using gender and we had passed the value 0 so it would be male because male is the first that we have mentioned and if we specify it out of its range 0 and 1 because uh, if we say uh, pass 10 then it will I, I let's see it might give us an exception it's not giving an exception it has returned a null and since uh, a string is a, a reference type so it can take null if it was a value type then it would have uh, given an exception runtime exception because value types are non-nullable there is a way to make them nullable that we'll discuss in a later session so I guys I hope your enumeration enum concepts are a bit more clear than when you started I, if you like my videos you can subscribe you can hit like you can comment any queries if you want the code I'll be happy to provide you you can I mean enter your email address and thank you guys have a nice day. Keep watching.